first scripture reading is from Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 through 4. Long ago, at many times and in many ways, God spoke to our fathers by the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son, whom he appointed the heir of all things, through whom also he created the world. He is the radiance of the glory of God and the exact imprint of his nature. And he upholds the universe by the word of his power. And after making purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become as much superior to angels as the name he has inherited is most excellent than theirs. This is the word of the Lord. scripture reading comes from Psalms 96 verses 1 through 12. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the heart. Sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Tell, tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the, the peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods, for all the gods of, of the people are worthless idols. But the Lord made the heaven, splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord of families of, of the people. Ascribe to the, to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the splendor of holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Yes, the world is established. It shall never be moved. He will judge the people with equity. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all, all that fills it. Let the field exalt and everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy. This is the word of the Lord. We trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. On the 
this journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. Spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. Good morning, friends. Are you ready to fall in love with Jesus? I think I heard Aaron and Travis and Elijah. So today, uh, if you have your Bibles with you, I want you to turn with me to Psalms chapter 150. I know that's a big number. If you have your Bibles already with you, go ahead and turn with me, okay? And I'm going to read um, starting from verses 1. It says, Praise the Lord, praise God in His sanctuary, praise Him in His mighty heavens. And I'll read it one more time. Praise the Lord, praise God in His sanctuary, praise Him in His mighty heavens. So, the first thing we learned today is that God, I want you to listen with your listening ears, okay? That God deserves unlimited worship because of His unlimited greatness. So can you say it with me? Okay, ready? One, two, three. God deserves unlimited worship because of His unlimited greatness. Good job. So boys and girls, if you open your Bibles and you look from Genesis to Revelation, you'll see story upon story upon story of God's greatness. Uh, the Bible reminds us that our God is the beginning and the end. Uh, there was no one ever before God imagined that, and there was no one or there will be no one after Him. And so our God is eternal. Um, he has been, and He is, and He will be forever and ever and ever. Whoa! Isn't that crazy? I know what you're thinking. I can't even imagine how amazing that is. The Bible also tells us that our God is above every other God. Uh, the Bible tells us that He, uh, the God that we worship, He is the Lord of Lords. He is the King of Kings. And our God, um, He is above every other God. Our God is also good. Uh, remember the song that we sing? He is a good, good Father. 
the Bible also reminds us that our God is holy. He has nothing to do with sin. He doesn't even know sin. Um, the Bible reminds us that our God is also unchanging. You know, when I was little, I thought I would become a doctor, and then a dancer, and then a lawyer, and then a character at Disneyland. Did you hear what I just said? You see, the things we like, who we are, always change. But our God is unchanging. Say that one more uh, time over your hearts. Our God is unchanging. The Bible also tells us that our God is love that everything about love um, is from our God. And so to know our God is to know love. He is full of mercy, justice. Um, our God controls all things. He knows all things. The Bible tells us, little friends, that our God knows all things. That means that He knows every little thing that you know and what you don't know. Can you imagine that? Our God knows all things. Uh, the Bible also tells us that our God is all powerful. I mean, way more powerful than the superheroes in the whole wide world. So the more and more we know our God, little friends, you will see that our God deserves unlimited worship uh, because of His unlimited greatness. Um, our God, the more we learn about Him, that you will see that His greatness is so big, so vast, and we could never really fully, fully understand how great and incredible our God is. Um, in verse 1, the psalmist reminds us to praise God in the sanctuary, to praise Him in His mighty heavens. So the second thing we learned today is that our God has made us that means you and me, us, His worshipers. Um, that means that our God invites us to worship our great, great God. Now, I want you to use your smart brains and think about it a little bit. Our amazing God with unlimited greatness wants us, you and me, to worship Him a great and mighty and powerful and all-knowing and holy God wants us to be His worshipers forever. Little friends, that's why we sing. We dance for Jesus. That's why we learn about Jesus. We spend time listening to Jesus. And that's why we choose to live our be attitudes instead of our me attitudes. Our God deserves all, all of our praise, um, our honor, and our lives. And so He calls us, little friends, to worship Him, to make Him number one in our hearts, to love Him more than anything else in the whole wide world. And so today, little friends, as we learn to fall in love with Jesus, I pray that you and I would be reminded of how great and mighty and awesome our God is. Um, and so little friends, before we end, uh, I don't know if you remember this song, but I'm gonna go ahead and sing it for you. This was a song that my mommy taught me when I was little and I would sing it again and again and again and again and again. Okay, here's how it goes. Um, it says, uh, it goes like this, okay? My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There is nothing my God cannot do. And then it says, the mountains are His. The rivers are His. The stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. And so today, little friends, as we take the time to pray and say thank you, God, let's first thank Him and praise Him. 
uh, for His greatness. Our God is so, so great. He's so mighty and strong, and He is so much bigger and powerful and awesome than anything we've ever imagined. So on that note, little friends, I want you to put your hands together, close your eyes, and um, I will go ahead and pray for us. And I want you to listen very carefully with your listening ears as I pray over us. God, we thank you that you are a great God, that you are the beginning and the end, Lord, that you are our unchanging God, that you are a God of love, God of justice, you control all things, that you are holy, you are unfathomable, that you are beyond our imagination, that you know all things even before we know, that you are all powerful, uh, that you are ever so present and we can go on and on and on about your greatness. And so God, first and foremost, we say, Lord, help us to worship you, to give you unlimited praise because you deserve our unlimited praise. God, I pray that you would also help us to grow as your worshipers. God, even though we are so flawed and so broken and so easy to forget, that you invite us every day to worship you, our great, great God. And so God, I pray that you would help us to enjoy our time with you, to live our lives for you, to praise you, to honor you, and to live our lives for you. So Father, help us to be the kind of worshipers that you call us to be. We ask this all in your precious and mighty name and all the top kids say, Amen. Um, that's it for today, boys and girls. I will go ahead and see you after our Sunday program in our Zoom classrooms. See you later. Bye. To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in praise And I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to remember everything That the Lord has done I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to be I want to be I want to be I like to think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in Tap kids. Oh man, I am so excited to be here with you guys. Happy Sunday, and I hope you guys had a great time worshiping because I know I did. Whoa, teacher Dan and Hanju, they were so amazing. All right, boys and girls, do you guys know what time it is? It's time to fall in love with who? 
with Jesus. It's raining love. It's raining love. What's ra what's it raining? It's raining love. Do you see the hearts coming down? Well, boys and girls, um, so we all know that it is fall, which is time. It, it means it's fall. It's time and it's time to fall in love with Jesus. But we also know during this time, this time of month, uh, it's it's a wonderful. There's a wonderful holiday coming up, and it is. Thanksgiving, a time where you can spend time with your family and give thanks to God for everything He's given us, for our health, our roof, and everything. And for that, those special events, we are gonna be making uh, tiki cones. So, what you're gonna be needing for this craft is actually some cones, right? Some ice cream cones. You can do any size, no particular size. Preferably the ones that are waffle because you're gonna be, you know, um, that's what we need. Oh no! <laughs> Sorry, boys and girls. It's okay. When things fall, this one, this one failed, but it's fine because we can just eat it. All right, so we'll clean that up later. So we're gonna need cones. You are gonna need some chocolate, whatever chocolate you want, but you're gonna melt it. Mine's is already melted in a cup, see? You can use Hershey, white chocolate, whatever your preference is. I wanted to do a little extra, so I got some caramel drizzle, so I can add that too. We're gonna need some pretzel sticks, preferably, but if you don't have pretzel sticks, it's fine. You can use regular pretzels, and then just cut it in pieces. And then, some sprinkles. Sprinkles, there you go, edible and some marshmallows. There you go. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna grab our cone and we are gonna dip it into our chocolate. Oh, there you go. Man. Man, that looks so yummy. And then we're gonna need some paper so we can put it here. And then I'm gonna dip it into some caramel. There you go. Wow. There you go. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my sprinkle bottle and I'm going to smother it a little bit. Let's see. There you go. All righty, there you go. And then, what we're gonna do next, you actually, this is my one of my favorite parts. We, we're gonna bite this open. You can actually bite it or cut it, but I'm gonna bite it. Enough so you can make a hole. Whoa, that's really, that's a really good waffle cone. And then, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go ahead and dip it into our caramel and into our chocolate. See, I don't want to get any chocolate. There you go. And the same thing. We're gonna add some, some sprinkles. Let's see, there you go. All right, let's add some sprinkles here. And there you go. Sprinkles, there you go. There we go. All right. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to grab one of our marshmallows and we are gonna put it, I'm gonna put it through here. Bam, there you go. Bam, okay. And then the pretzels, these are where the pretzel sticks come out in. I'm gonna put one pretzel stick here, another one here. Oh no, the marshmallow went out. It's okay. Add the marshmallow here. And another marshmallow here. And there you go, boys and girls. You have your tiki cone. You see, doesn't this look great? Well, and then after this, after you put it here, what you, got, what you guys are gonna wanna do, you guys are gonna put it in the refrigerator. That way the chocolate and the caramel can melt. 
and when it melts, you can go ahead and enjoy it with some delicious, you know, uh, whatever kind of ice cream you want, whatever kind of ice cream you like. I like chocolate mint, so I'm gonna do it with that. And, you know, make sure, boys and girls, this is a perfect time, a perfect dessert for the Thanksgiving holidays, boys and girls. So, we, we hope that you enjoyed it. Please, please, please make sure to, um, uh, tag us on Instagram. We want to see how you how yours turns out. If you guys use white chocolate, if you guys what kind of ice cream you guys paired it up with. Oh man, what kind? If you guys use strawberry drizzle, whatever thing you want to do, um, we want to see what you're doing, boys and girls. All right. Well, I hope you guys had an amazing time because I did. Until next time, boys and girls. Goodbye. Psalms 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hi guys, we're gonna make a thing for Tuffy. All right, hey guys, we're gonna make a thankful turkey today as our toddler, tap toddler's fun tivity. Because. because it is almost? Happy birthday. <laughs> no, because it is almost Thanksgiving. So, all you're gonna need today are scrap pieces of paper um, and uh, an old, we're gonna recycle because we all know creation care is important to make our turkey base. And then every day, at the end of the day, what we've been doing here is writing one thing that Olive is thankful for, but the whole family can make one as well, or each of the family members can make one. All right, let's get Mommy, started. I want to see. Okay, so in order to begin, first thing you're gonna need to do is make the turkey body, and I'm gonna do that by making almost like a peanut shape. And actually, I'll do it this way. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be perfect, and I am not a wonderful artist, but here's that peanut shape. And then we're going to cut. If your child is old enough, they can cut on their own, um, but to save time, I am going to cut myself. Right, Olive? Yeah. Don't cut yourself. Yeah. We tell everyone on, tell everyone watching, tell all the kids watching to be. Be uh, people watching, let kids watch. All right. So know where Milo found that apple. Don't know what day that's from, but okay. So here's the face of the bod, or of the turkey or the face, and then we're gonna cut two circles for the eyes. And Olive, are you ready? Because you're gonna help me. Glue them on my assistant. Okay, so let's do it this way. Oh, you don't want to get your hand dirty. Okay, so we'll make the eyeballs. Then we're gonna make the nose, which is in the tear shaped. Okay. Oh, where's our little glue stick? Thanks. Okay, help me get started. Get ready, glue it. And then we're gonna make, I think it's called the snood, but I might have also made that up. But I'm pretty sure it's the snood of the turkey. The snood of the turkey glue. 
All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue on our eye and set it down. You want to do this one? Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Olive. And then can you do the nose to me for me too? Oh, can you do it? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And then can you do the snood? Yeah. Totally. Don't know if that's the name. I might be making that up. But honestly, I am the least craftiest or artistic person ever, so this anyone can do. And then this can go right underneath the nose. All right. Then, um, do you want to make the little eyeballs? Yeah. Okay, so draw two little circles in there. Coolio. Nice. And now, with the scraps that we have left, we're going to make the feathers. So, Olive. What is one thing you are thankful for today? Milo. You're thankful for Milo today? Yeah. Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and put Milo on here. And Olive, can you help me? How do we spell Milo? M-I-L-O. M-I-L-O. Oh. And then we're gonna go ahead and glue on here. Hold this for me, my trusty assistant. Milo, yay. Here we go. All right, everyone, we wanna see you make your thankful turkeys. And this, especially during this Thanksgiving season, spend some time with your family thanking God and um, being mindful about sharing what you are thankful for today. Um, we love you guys, we miss you. Make sure you tag at Tapestry Family and um, ministry and Tapestry LA Church so that we can repost your awesome thankful turkeys. Bye guys. Bye guys.